Yeah. Hey guys, so um, sorry if my voice keeps breaking during this video because it's because I haven't slept for nearly three days, so all my like body's just giving up. Um, basically, this video is about um, the hypermobility type of Ellis Danlos syndrome, um, which I found out that I've got, which is not very nice, but back to life. Um, it's a, basically, it's a connective tissue disorder which is inherited and it's to do with like the collagens in your body that like glue your body together. So um, basically um, it first like manifested when I was 11. I was at school and I was doing PE. Um, we kept having to do like cross country and everything um, and basically I just kept spraining my ankles for free and it was just like awful. Um, kept having to go to hospital all the time, they couldn't figure out why, why it was happening so much. Then when I turned 13, um, I was at the park one day and I fell over, dislocated my knee and end of, ended up in hospital for that one. Um then it wasn't as bad because it was like just every now and again it would dislocate and sublux there yeah, sublux oh I can't even remember the word. Subluxations I think it is. Um yeah. Um but then when I turned sixteen, obviously I had a growth spurt and everything, so um there was more dislocations, stuff like that. Um so after so many times I got put on crutches, which is the first time I've ever been on crutches in my life and it was quite weird. And so they sent me for the fracture clinic the day after and basically I got sent to a surgeon and that was the surgeon who first like said I had hypermobility. Um because basically he kept doing tests for the like times that I went to see him. But he just couldn't figure out what it was. Um, then he just thought, oh, I'll just like do one last resort kind of thing. So he just measured, he brought out a ruler and a pen and started drawing on me. And he said I had a misplaced tendon and hypermobility. So I was like, okay. But I never knew what any of it was because I didn't even like think to look it up. I just took their word for it. Um, so, yeah. Um, then he referred me to a senior surgeon to get a second opinion. So the senior surgeon kept saying that he'd do surgery, um, but he never did it. Um, and he kept sending me back and forth to physio, even though I'd been doing physio since, like, obviously when I was 13, when I first dislocated my knees. Um, then um, the physio told me that they couldn't do anything more. Um, tried hydrotherapy through physio but they just said there was nothing else that they could really do because it wasn't helping it was just making it more painful um, then also the senior surgeon kept throwing like EDS and um, like hypermobility out there and I was like didn't know what it was um, but I didn't look it up because I just like wanted to take their word for it but I didn't know what it was I don't know why but yeah I was just, I'd never really look into something until like people pushed me to and so that leads on to my mum started to go, um, a couple of about a month or so ago started saying that we should look it up and find out what it all means and stuff like that so uh, about a, what, a few days ago I think I looked it up and basically it's everything that like all the symptoms that I have and obviously with the surgeon telling me that's what it was and stuff so it was just a bit like okay um and I think I have got it from my mum's side because she has a lot of like ankle problems and stuff like that like I did which is what I started with obviously um then, so yeah, um, so from the knees, the next things to go, this is all 
happened in the past few months were um, my um, hips were the first to start because they started dislocating and hurting really bad and makes it hard to walk so um, they started then it was my elbows like if I just like flex them out too much like that then they do it and it's horrible um, my shoulders then started gone and that's horrible especially at night when you're trying to sleep um, then it was my wrists and my fingers um, some people with EDS have the stretchy skin and translucent skin and like translucent hands and stuff I've got like it's not like the full stretchy whereas like it looks like you're pulling your skin off but like it's like a little bit if that makes sense um, and I do have translucent skin because all my veins are like showing everywhere and on my arms and stuff and if you can see don't know. no but you can see my hand there all my veins um, most nights I don't get sleep um, because of the pain and stuff like that but because I get lots of back pain as well because of it I don't know how that works but yeah and it just hurts a lot so I just don't get sleep um, pretty much the only things that get me through at the moment are basically the help from me mum and my brother um, and also I've like become obsessed with Adam Lambert I don't know why but he's just awesome and he's quite fit too and his voice is amazing so <laughs> yeah um, so he's kind of getting me through it too so listening to his music kind of like calms me down a bit I don't yeah um, so yeah that's basically it um, um just hopefully gonna get um some new like tablets from the doctor when I go to see him in a few weeks. Um for like the pain and hopefully if I can try and get some sleeping ones to help me sleep because it's a nightmare. Um so yeah, that's about it. Um um just hope this was informative and stuff like that. Um, not a lot of people know about it because it's quite rare. I think it's about one in five thousand people that have it. I think something like that. Um, so yeah. Um, so like, if there's anybody out there watching this with EDS, um, if you wanna like drop a comment below and just like start chatting because we're all there to like help each other because it's quite a horrible thing to deal with but yeah so um yeah i'm here if anybody wants to chat or anything and um, just leave a comment or a like or subscribe or whatever um so yeah see you later guys